Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. Is it gonna show up? Yeah, there it is. Heavy Metal Virus! This is what we're doing today. It means one of two things. It either means heavy metals like lead poisoning in your water, or it means heavy metal like really heavy music. You know, Swedish death metal and whatever the heck else you want to- I don't know what qualifies as heavy metal as opposed to metal as opposed to death metal. Sue me. It's music. In a world dominated by repetitive pop music, humanity has forgotten a time when long hair rocked and motorbikes rolled. Only one hope remains. You and you alone have created a virus to bring the public back from the brink. Spread heavy metal across the globe and get humanity headbanging again. To win, you must unlock the metal god's symptom and infect the entire world. This is my first custom scenario, so don't expect anything brilliant. Again, with people wanting to, like, this is like a, a classic, like, lower the expectations so that people can't get mad at me if it sucks kind of a thing. I mean, I do that sometimes on this channel, too. Namely, when I'm going to play, I don't know, horror games, as in yesterday. However, however, have some confidence, guys. Come on. You got five stars. This is clearly not that bad. Just enjoy yourself, and may let me guide you on your quest to unite the world in rock. Oh yeah! ATP boost, genetic mimic, aqua size, human file, and symptostasis. Painkiller. Alright, it has begun! Heavy metal must spread from its ancestral home in the United Kingdom to save the world from the dreadful pop reality that consumes the poor ears of the world. Rock and roll damnation! Your enemy is the evil music moguls who will stop at nothing to protect their business and eliminate heavy metal for good once they detect you. Deck detect you, sorry. You must work fast to save the world. So... I didn't know the heavy metal originated in the UK. Good for you guys. Um, I will say I agree that pop music has poisoned the music world entirely for me. There's a reason I barely listen to music at all anymore. And if I do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to listen to heavy metal. I'm going to turn on some good old-fashioned classic rock. You know? Guns and Roses and stuff. That's my jam. And if I want something a bit more modern, eh, dubstep. Glitch hop. Those things are cool. All right, we start off with underground radio. Unofficial radio stations transmit heavy metal tunes through the airways, increasing infectivity. Local gigs. Small gigs are beginning to be sponsored by the underground radio stations. New fans and publicity means higher infectivity. Pick it up. New wave. The sounds of metal inspire new blood to take up guitars, drums, and microphones. Increases infectivity and severity. Mainstream radio. Some official official, official radio stations are interested in the new music that is developing, abandoning the same pop songs they spread the metal to more ears nationwide. All right, Stairway to Heaven, Led Zeppelin. Oh, I do know Led Zeppelin. Are they considered heavy metal? I can imagine a few of you guys face palming right now. Like I can hear it from here. I don't know what qualifies. I do know Led Zeppelin, though. They're pretty good. Become one of the founding gods of heavy metal. They begin to tour the world, increasing severity as well as air and sea transmission. Abilities. Black ice. It's metal in cold countries. How about how about just like, uh, I don't know, Swedish audience or something. I guarantee it'll work in the cold countries there. Desert plains. Bands are prepared for touring in hot climates. Sweet Leaf. They fight back against the wealthy pop country. Uh, sorry, pop countries easily. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of Freudian slip there, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. Uh, this is one of those scenarios where I don't know that having heat and cold and drug resistance... Maybe drug resistance, but cold resistance and stuff may not make a lot of sense, but... Eh. eh. I mean, it's a nitpicky thing. It's a nitpicky thing. Everyone feels like they have to, and it does change the balance. So I understand why people find a way to work it in. I don't know. How about, how about like, cool, heavy, well-insulated black metal jackets or something like that, you know? Hey, Led Zeppelin mutated all on their own. No help from me required. Let's go for the mainstream. Record labels. Dedicated rock labels are insane, signing new brands to recording contracts, increasing in effectivity, but the evil music moguls may strike back. Yeah, that music industry. Ah. Hard Road. Some of the new sons and daughters of metal sacrifice their jobs and homes to become roadies for touring bands. Increasing in effectivity, but music moguls take notice, i.e. severity. Local festivals. Touring bands are coming together to play local festivals, increasing fan bases and, and infectivity. You know, that's one of the things I do like about local festivals and stuff. Heck, uh, just this uh, last week or so in my town, uh, we had uh, some sort of an Oktoberfest, kind of. You know, just mostly just local craft brewers and stuff uh, showcasing their German-style beer. The food trucks came by and were serving German-style food. It was great. And then some local bands are coming around. It's one of the nice attractions. I don't know if they were metal bands. I mean, I, they definitely weren't, but... 
You know, I, I appreciate the little things of a local culture. It's fun, yo. All right, we need the Sweet Leaf to rebel against the UK. Wait, there's a song about something like that, right? Hang on, what is it? No, I don't remember what it's called. Which band did the whole I don't, we don't need no education thing, by the way? Wh which one was that? Someone will answer in the comments section. Now you know you guys are much smarter than I am. That's what's coming to my brain right now, and I don't know why. Anyway, all right, we are gonna go for the hard road and the record labels. This leads to national tour. More money means more gigs, means more fans. Heavy metal bands tour further than ever before, increasing both infectivity and severity heavily, pun intended. Oh, aren't you clever? That hardly counts as a pun, does it? You know, it's occurring to me that I'm not sure that I'm fully, I'm fully uh, clear on the definition of what defines a pun, just like metal. I don't know. Paranoid. Oh, that's new. Black Sabbath. Hey, I know them too. Become one of the founding gods of heavy metal. There, misspelled, horror-inspired music increases severity, especially in the urban countries. All right. Power Slave, Iron Maiden's mascot, Eddie, spreads the metal message to hot and arid nations. Sweet. Perfect Strangers. Some touring shahedgeros means only those in major cities can see their favorite bands. Spelled with the UKU. Oh, we got a Brit. Deep Purple's tours allow those from even the most rural fans to see them play. Good for Deep Purple reaching a different audience. Screaming for vengeance! Anger at the world is amplified through Judas Priest. Increases severity significantly and decreases cure rate slightly. You know what's funny is, even though I wouldn't have considered myself to be a fan of heavy metal by any stretch, I actually do know almost all these band names. Like, I, I, like within the last month, I've listened to some of them. Weirdness. Maybe I'm more into this genre than I thought I was. Huh. All right. So then we have Monsters of Rock. The Download Festival will bring bands from all over the world for the biggest heavy metal event of the year. However, music moguls will now work harder to stop you. What are they going to do? Embargo Greenland? Is that legal? Can you embargo certain countries with music? Actually, probably, but I don't know. All right, we don't want our severity to go too much higher because we're starting to have a little trouble. I'll go for Perfect Strangers. That leads to Comfortably Numb. Sometimes you just need to relax and Pink Floyd. That's it, isn't it? They're the ones that did We ain't gotten. We Don't Need No Education. Is that the one? Is it Pink Floyd? I think it's Pink Floyd. God, I hope it's Pink Floyd or I'm going to sound like an idiot. Is here to help you do that. At the expense of infectivity, cure progress goes down. Mm, that sucks. Motorcycle Man. Saxons. I actually don't know them. Regular touring ensures the word of heavy metal reaches as many people as possible, especially in the arid environments. Junkie, get too into the rock and roll lifestyle, may cause fatalities. Black Star, inspires rockers from. Not the band, the moguls. Uh, okay. I mean, I kind of like. With, with the drug resistance route, like, you actually can rename stuff and it makes perfect sense for the scenario. Completely makes sense to me. I'm good with that. Super good with that, in fact. Do we want to go for Junkie? Screw it. Go for Junkie. It is lethal, though. The blues. They revive the blues, meaning the music moguls will have to research harder to find a cure. Also unlocks new symptoms. Smoke on the water. Deep Purple's signature song increases metal wa metal's water effectiveness and spreads through humid countries faster. That is probably good. I'm a little concerned that I'm not going to get into Cuba. Oh, you want to talk about some freaking uh, you want to talk about some freaking music embargoes? That might be it right there, man. Mm, let's go for the blues. This unlocks Slow Gin. I don't know who this is either. Joe Bonamasa's Blues soothes even the most vengeful heart. Decreases severity, increases infectivity in arid and rural regions. Alrighty. I guess we're just super chill now or something. I don't know. Does Mexico send a boat into the into the Caribbean? Into Cuba? Angola inf it executes. Just straight up executes the lovers of rock. You horrible intolerant people. Alright. Screaming for vengeance. Killed by death, or Angola, I don't know. Motorhead, toured right until the end. These masters of endurance cause an extreme increase in infectivity. And Metal Gods, the combination of committed bands, loyal media, and record companies means the world can now overthrow the evil music moguls and make the planet rock again. The planet is already made of rock. Oh, I got Metal Gods for free, sweet. Yeah, the planet's already made of rock. There's a reason we call it Earth. Earth literally means dirt or rocks. Yeah, whatever, anyway. All right, uh, abilities. Industrial metal, heavier metal. Yeah, more work for a cure. All right, new symptom. What do we get? We got links two, three, four. 
Ramsteins. Ramsteins. I don't know. Stage setup is the class of its own. Sorry, in a class of its own. Their style helps the poor and urban nations to rise and fight, but the moguls will try to harder. I don't care what the moguls do. Let's help Africa rock again. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, the, the scenario's come to an effective end at this point. I'm literally just running out the freaking clock. Uh, we'll go for the Monsters of Rock. Why not? I got everything there. Got everything there. Super groups. Some members from different bands are joining forces to form super groups. The extensive knowledge of subgenres in rock and metal make it easier, harder to find a cure. You know, we'll just go for the Desert Plains to speed things up here a little bit in Africa. Angola, who executed all of their rockers, is finally going to succumb. There are no healthy people left in the world. Everyone's rocking out! It is done! Humanity has once again learnt the value of heavy metal in their lives. We owe it all to you. Hooray! Alright, I actually might like heavy metal, just based on some of those bands that were being named. Maybe I like it more than I thought. Maybe a lot more than I thought. I don't know. I don't know my own genres. I'm not a music man, okay? It's just the unfortunate truth. 400 days, 39% cure progress, 60,085 points, 2 stars. Took a little bit longer than maybe it should have. But ultimately, I think it's a really good scenario. Like a few misspellings here and there, alright, but the balance is pretty good overall. Maybe just a little faster, but not that bad. Had I focused on some proper resistances, like heat resistance, we might actually have been able to do it a lot sooner. I think it's a really good scenario. Man, with these people downplaying their scenarios and stuff, but they end up being really good. Makes me happy. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.